So our Hummer H3 with the alpha conversion has come back to us with a little bit of a temperature issue. Uh, this has been somewhat of an ongoing thing from the time we got the truck put together. Uh, really this is because we took away the manual, the, the manual fan, uh, the clutch fan when we put the V8 in and we converted it to an electric fan. The electric fan and shroud that went in is a 16 inch fan. Uh, it went in in this shroud, it's a nice big fan. And um, it promised to move uh, 2,150 CFM air. And uh, it really wasn't that great from the beginning. Uh, I further aggravated this problem uh, by putting a pulse width modulated, a PWM derail controller on this one fan. I did this because I wanted the fan to have a, a variable speed so it wouldn't just come on and shock the electrical system. But I didn't know that, uh, that this 2150 CFM fan had brushes in it. And you cannot use a pulse width modulated controller with brushes because pulsing the power through the brushes kind of makes the brushes try to fuse to the segments on the commutator in the motor. And uh, I actually have this motor taken apart so I can show what that looks like. It's a shame you can't smell it because all this, this uh, smells like it's been on fire. But uh, here are my brushes, they're all destroyed. This one doesn't even come out anymore, they're all crunchy. The wire is melted coming out of the back of the housing and the motor. And the motor itself looks like it's been on fire. And every single segment is destroyed, ground through. There's no cleaning that up with some oiled emery. You're not doing nothing for that. This is junk. And, uh, and this was our derail pulse with modulated controller. These all came out. Uh, one time that this came back for this problem before this video, we added a fan to the front of the condenser to help with the AC. So now the vehicle has two fans. So where I had to run the PWM controller to achieve variable speeds, now that we have two fans in the car, we can rewire this with three relays to achieve low and high speed functions through uh, running the two fans in, in a series and then breaking them out to parallel for high speed. Just like what is in the factory uh, Tahoe that this uh, engine and controller actually came out of. I've already wired that up that way and now we just need to install a new fan. As far as the fan we're going to install in this, because we were never really happy with the 2150 CFM flow and fan, we found a, uh, a Flexalite fan. This fan has a legacy number, part number of 238. Or actually, the legacy number is 238 and the part number on it is uh, 105.390. This is uh, a very similar 16 inch puller fan, but this, this pulls, this brags on 3000 CFM airflow, which is a substantial tick up from the 2150 CFM. We expect this to uh, squash all of our uh, temperature problems that we were having, but uh, I'm sure I'll make another video about all this when it's done. For now, I got to, uh, I got to get this fitted and hope it fits. Uh, there's a thing about the water pump that we're using that's on this Hummer is the water pump off the Tahoe and this water pump has a, a nub on the front of it for the uh, mechanical fan to screw onto or for the, the fan clutch to screw onto and um, I don't know if that's going to let this, this fan fit. The other fan was such a tight fit you can see where that nub on the water pump was, was riding on the housing of it. It was touching shoehorn doesn't cover what this motor is. So I've cut like a quarter inch of material off of it, but you can't cut, you can't cut it all the way back to the hub because that is what the press fit, that is what holds the pulley on the water pump. So if you cut it back flush with the pump, it's just gonna, the pulley's just gonna fall off. So I clearanced it as much as I can that way. If this doesn't fit right now, then there's a good chance, a good likelihood that we're going to have to go and get something like a, like an LS3 water pump for like a Corvette and then get the spacers and space that forward until it lines up with the truck belt spacing. And uh, I hope that's not what we have to do here.
But for now, we just need to get this fan in and see what we get out of that. And uh, hopefully it fits. Uh, I'll make another video when all this is done. Second shift performance.